Hey there and welcome back to Sim Sunday. My name is Pete and today we complete episode number 60 of this playthrough and still no end in sight just yet. And we are going to start things off with Ayesha and Pauline today. Ayesha is awake first, she will spend a few minutes waiting outside the bedroom and then Pauline can join her and the two can have a bit of a chat. That is mainly done to drive Pauline's social bar back up, but it will also help their relationship and since the two of them share a bed together, that's probably a good idea. And we'll keep the two of them together for a while longer, Pauline's social bar is where it needs to be, but now she can go for a round on the treadmill. And since Ayesha is an old professional and has mastered the athletic skill a long time ago, I think she can help her granddaughter train a bit. Pauline immediately reaches level 3 in the athletic skill, we barely missed that in the last episode, and now we can jump over to Paul, who is just grabbing breakfast, and then to his wife Chastity, who hops under the shower. And squeaky clean, she will now teleport herself over to the park, where she can play guitar for tips. And I found that the park is, at least on the weekends, a better spot than the restaurant. In the meantime, Paul has also used the teleportation pad, um, apparently without changing into something a bit more presentable beforehand. Um, anyways, he will now spend the next few hours in the library raising his logic skill. We don't want that to be the bottleneck once he continues to rise through the ranks of the law enforcement career. And it didn't take him too long, just a bit over two hours later he reaches level 7 in the logic skill. While he leaves the library, we can see on the top right Pauline has improved to level 4 in the athletic skill. But if we jump back home, we can see that she still has a bit of a workout left before her. And we can also see that Patrick is awake and preparing breakfast for himself. Then back over to Paul, who over in the park has found a close friend of his. Joy Dockery seems to spend some time here and that's good for Paul because we can use that to question her and use that for another report. Back at home, Ahisha has pushed Pauline to the limit. Pauline has now trained until fatigued, that also fulfills a wish for her. And so while Pauline takes a shower, Patrick can take care of his garden, and the Yisha can begin another day of collecting. We still only need one unique butterfly and one unique beetle to complete the last two remaining skill challenges in the collecting skill, and maybe we will be successful in this episode. <laughs> Meanwhile, Paul has finished his questioning and is now returning home, and he can quickly grab the mail where we find a bit of stuff that Ayesha sent away in the last episode. Mostly thanks to the pink diamond in here, selling all that stuff should make us a nice amount of money. And it actually makes us so much that our household value now surpasses 1 million simoleons. That fulfills a very rewarding wish that I believe 3 or 4 members of the household had, so all of them will now get 20,000 lifetime happiness points. Paul can now start writing his report, while after her workout, Pauline grabs something more or less healthy to eat. A few moments later, on her way out, we then receive a very nice royalty payment for Paul. The continuous production of bestsellers seems to pay off. Just like Paul did earlier, Pauline will now teleport herself over to the library, and in here she will improve her logic skill. She's already halfway to the next level thanks to our efforts in the last episode, so I think she should be able to get that next level today. Then back at home, Paul finishes the report and breaks the computer in the process, but luckily we have somebody on hand for that. Before we get to the repairs, let's quickly check Paul's skill journal. And for the writing skill, it says here that he has written 25 books. And that is enough to unlock the masterpiece. This is by far the longest, but also by far the best paying book type. And so Paul will now begin to write one, although on this computer over here. For the laptop, we have Patrick, who just finished his tour through the garden, and can now begin the repairs over here. With his handiness skill at level 6 he should succeed, but if he gets zapped and the worst happens, then we still have a bunch of death flowers on him. And here we are, laptop successfully repaired, and that also gives Patrick a nice boost to the handiness skill. 
He can now return to the garden for a bit of replanting and reviving, and we can jump over to Pauline in the library who just improved her logic skill to level 8. But since I don't really have anything else planned for her today, she can just continue to read. With all the garden work done and also a nice shower taken, Patrick can now start the second half of his day, and that will mainly focus on some fishing. For that purpose, he can teleport himself over to the lake by the science facility, and since we caught all the necessary bait for that in the last episode, today he will fish for robot fish. Over in the park, Chastity has gotten a bit hungry, but we can fix that with a quick tomato snack, and then have her continue to play. And while we watch her, we should have watched Patrick, because here on the top right corner we can see Patrick has improved his fishing skill to level 10. And that means two things for us. Number one, he now only has one more skill challenge left in that skill before we can mark it off as complete. And number two, he has just caught a robot fish, and with that has now successfully caught one of each type of fish available in the base game. That's 21 unique specimens, so Paul is quite the fisherman. And while we're here, let's also quickly sell a few money tree harvests. Then, with the whole fishing thing still in mind, we can enter build mode. And first of all, we will move the wall here, the wall of the room that is attached to the garage. Let's also make sure that the lights are still aligned in the middle. And then we can paint the room light blue. And don't worry, we won't be able to see that lower part in the end. The room will then be equipped with a nice white tile floor. And then we can place a single kitchen counter. We will of course edit that a bit and create a style. Before then duplicating it 21 times. And each one of these small kitchen counters will now get a fishbowl on top. Because eventually this is going to be our own private aquarium. 21 fishbowls for 21 unique kinds of fish. And we can actually use this setup to also complete another lifetime wish. But more on that later. For now, Patrick can change fishing spots and go over to the sea. In short, what I want him to accomplish is to catch one perfect specimen of all 21 types of fish. That will allow us to complete the perfect private aquarium lifetime wish, and we can have 21 fish bowls with 21 perfect types of fish. Let's jump back home now, where all the writing has made Paul a bit stressed, so he can now raise his fun bar with the sim life goggles. Patrick in the meantime has caught a perfect anchovy, that means it's time for him to change fishing spots once again, while Paul has maxed out his fun bar already and will now work from home for a while, and outside we can see Ahisha who has returned from her collecting trip. She also grabbed a few gems in the process and can now send those away to be cut, and then she can grab some well-earned dinner. Over in the park, Patrick has once again accomplished his task and caught a perfect goldfish, and so let's have him go for one more round. He can now leave the park at the same time that Chastity does. Her guitar playing sessions brought us a nice amount of cash, but she's getting hungry now. So let's send her home now, where she can have something to eat, while Aisha cleans up and then we'll also use the sim life goggles to raise her fun bar. A short moment later, Ayesha has finished her meal, that means she can now use the computer to also work from home for a while. And after a long day of fishing, Patrick finally arrives back home and can now prepare himself a nice fresh dinner. With her curfew approaching, it is now time to send Pauline back home. She has made good progress in the logic skill today, but I think it's also time for her to get something to eat and then to get a nice night of sleep. After two hours of working from home, Paul will now switch back to writing. Not for too long, but I think an hour or so is fine. Meanwhile, Patrick has prepared an autumn salad for himself and can now eat that. A bit later, but still before the end of her curfew, Pauline arrives back home. She can now have her second cake slice for today, while with a maxed fun bar, Ahisha can be the first one to go to bed. Hmm. 
And now that Patrick is done with his dinner, Chastity can also stop working from home, and the two of them can also meet for a bit of social interaction. Both Chastity's and Patrick's fun bar are pretty low, and this should help get them back up. While they chat, a no longer hungry Pauline can go to bed, and then it's time for the rest of the household to also go to sleep. And with everybody nicely tucked in, let's skip ahead to the next morning. Then we can start a new week in Sunset Valley right where we left off yesterday. We can teleport Patrick over to the beach to fish for tragic clownfish. Both Pauline and Aisha wake up next, and while Aisha teleports off to go collecting, Pauline spends a bit of time with the Sim Life goggles. Just a few seconds later, Chastity is also awake and ready to start her day with a shower. At the beach, success for Patrick. With a perfect tragic clownfish in his inventory, it is now time for him to return home. At home, Paul is now also raising his fun bar with the Sim Life goggles, while Chastity can sit down right next to him for another session of working from home. Pauline, meanwhile, has raised her fun bar enough, and with the bathroom now no longer occupied, she can now take a quick shower before it's then time for her to go to school. That also leaves the Sim Life goggles free for the returning Patrick to use, and with his shift starting soon, we should probably do that. Then it seems like Pauline has taken the logic book from the library with her yesterday. Maybe the kleptomaniac trait was at work there. Anyway, it's rather convenient for us, as we can now have a read for a while until it's time to leave. Then the brothers Patrick and Paul put down their Sim Life goggles at the same time. Patrick can have a quick snack to raise his hunger bar, while Paul already teleports off to the police station. And a few seconds later, Patrick also leaves for work. After reading for a good hour, Pauline can now put down the logic skill book. Her school day starts in roughly 40 minutes, and of course, we want her to be on time. Then we can quickly jump back over to Paul at the police station. In the last episode, I believe, he read a book that will now raise his work performance. And right here we can see the results, his shift starts, and his work performance gets a significant boost. And with that, I have no doubt that he will get a promotion today. With everyone occupied now, let's do our weekly simoleon collecting tour. And at this point, the whole affair should make us close to 80,000 simoleons. Then a long 4-hour working session from home comes to an end for Chastity, which means she has now more than earned her breakfast. And while Chastity grabs some cake, we get an opportunity for Pauline. This one will give us improved school grades, but I'm not quite sure I think she's going to max out her school performance today anyway. So let's take that, but just as a safety measure for now. After breakfast, Chastity can read the logic skill book as well. I have transferred that over from Pauline to her. And then let's quickly check in with Aisha, who I would like to spend some cash today. So let's go into town view and let's buy the old pier beach. And here we are, for 35,000 simoleons, we are now the owners of that property. But actually, we still have quite a bit left over. So how about we buy the local pool center as well? And that's another one. Our family funds are now pretty decimated, but we are two steps closer to owning the entire town. Aisha has now gone back to collecting as we jump over to Pauline, whose school day has come to an end. And as we can see, she has made it to A grades. That means we can't go any higher, and that also means we can cancel the opportunity again. At the same time, by the way, Patrick also finished his shift at the science facility, and sadly he just barely missed out on a promotion, but since this is the last career I want him to complete, it is not too much of a problem. We can then just get the promotion next time. Pauline arrives back home and immediately begins to do her homework, while Chastity is still busy with the logic skill book. 
An hour later, Paul's shift at the police station comes to an end, and as expected, he gets the promotion, and with that, we have a choice to make. Paul can now choose between the special agent and the forensic analyst career branches, and since we already explored the special agent path with Aisha, Paul will make good use of his painting skills and become a forensic analyst. And once again, that promotion means he has another report to write, and once again, we can find just the right person for that in the park. Meanwhile, Patrick has made it over to the sea and has already caught a perfect blowfish, which means we can now switch him to anchovy again, which are the bait for swordfish. Over in the park, Paul is starting the questioning process, while Pauline finishes her homework and can now once again begin a workout. This time we're switching things up a bit and don't use the treadmill for a change. Roughly 40 minutes later, Paul arrives back home with enough information to write another report, so let's have him begin that one right away. Well, actually, there is something we need to do first. We can have him stop writing for a second here, move him away from the computer, sell the computer, and replace it with the brand new laptop that Paul just received as a reward for his promotion. And now he can start to write again. And look who's back. After a long day of collecting, Ahisha returns back home. And she can now grab the mail, we can immediately sell what we received here, and spend the portion of that money on paying the bills. Then it's time to clear Ahisha's inventory a bit, and also hang up the fishing certificate that we just received for Patrick. And I think for the moment, right here next to the door, but still close by to the lake, that works fine. Inside, Paul has completed his report and will now continue to write on his masterpiece novel, while Ahisha can help out Patrick in the garden. There is a lot to harvest and I'm afraid he won't get that done all by himself. Another reason for the help is that he's also getting pretty hungry, and that we should prioritize getting him some food first. By the way, I have transferred over one perfect specimen of each type of fish over to Paul, so that Patrick doesn't accidentally use it in dishes or as bait, so Paul's inventory will be the temporary place for all those fish to be. After dinner, Paul can now join Aisha in the garden. She has already done quite a bit of work and I think the rest should go rather quickly. Inside, Pauline finishes her workout. She is already at level 5 of the athletic skill and now ready to take a shower. While she does, Paul can stop writing and go over to the fridge, and at the same time, Chastity improves her logic skill to level 7. And that means she can now also grab a bite to eat. In the background we can see Ahisha clean the kitchen counter, while Patrick puts the finishing touches on the garden. After her shower, Pauline can now grab something to eat while Ahisha gets cleaned up. And then it's already time for everyone to head to bed. Patrick and his brother Paul are first, then it's Chastity's turn, up next is the squeaky clean Ahisha, and after doing the dishes for a while, last but not least, Pauline can now also go to sleep. And with that we can make the cut in today's episode, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.